the Sugar Hill DJs. Yo, what's up, y'all? This your boy Uncle Al Jr. Sugar Hill DJs. Uncle Al was born and raised in Miami, Sugar Hill, Liberty City, 1571st. Yo, Uncle Al is Miami. Uncle Al was the man in Miami. It's Uncle Al's name that you already know. Get the best DJ we can go toe to toe. Rap, jam, scratch, mix. We did it all, my nigga. So get off this. You know, my daddy is Miami. Everything he eat, sleep, breathe is Miami. Dade County 305. Uncle Al was a DJ beat. My dog could mix, my dog could scratch, and my dog could jam. When he show out, he show out. I watch him come out his clothes, scratching, spinning around. He was scratching like you didn't really hear Miami DJs really scratching like that. Shooting your DJ, check in, yo coochie, pop that DJ. Uncle I don't stop, move in, to the mind sound, we rock it. There was one sound that you heard of in the streets of Miami that was really official, that everybody fucked with. And that was them Sugar Hill DJs, my dog Uncle Al. Sugar Hill DJs, we was a family. Myself, Captain Crunch, you had Uncle Al, you had Player Boosie, you had Cool the Hound, I mean, you had Smokey D, Tito. I mean, it was a posse of us. And I mean, not just one or two, I can go on for days. Scrap, Joe! Pull on Uncle Al, let me show you how to run, get the swing high, tell them talking about it. Yeah, come but you know who's one of the best to get on the mic? You know, it's like freestyle. It's like some dudes was good, but they had to go memorize the record and, and learn rather than come back and do it, you know, trial and error. Dog could just get on something, just go on right in. He could join right in to the party. He was that good. Like once I heard Uncle Al, the best that ever did it, I'm like, wow. You know, it was amazing how, you know, like Uncle Al could memorize the record and, and say something, you know, pertaining to the word. One day Gucci took us, like, man, we finna go up in this little apartment. We went up in the little projects and I was sitting up there and I was like, oh, okay, this I had also. Whatever, he was DJing, he had a little underground radio station. I never met him before then, never seen him. And um, after he started DJing, Gucci was like, uh, oh, this bird. Cause Prior to that, I was letting Gucci hear the new two live stuff that we was working on in the car. And he was like, yo, that shit was hard. So he was like, yo, this Al, ah, this bird. And I remember Al was like, yo, what's up? And he asked me a question. And when he asked me a question, it was like me and him knew each other for 30 years. Rough Town Behavior album, Sugar Hill Style. I went there, like, boy, we gotta do one. But we was doing it for the culture. Sugar Hill wrote a rough DJ, boys clan. Rough Town, y'all check it out, check it out. Sugar Hill from the rock to shit, y'all. Uncle motherfucking now in the house, gonna sing that nigga a little something like this here. Every time I listen to that record today, when I be like, damn, I got him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got him on one of my records. I mean, yeah, you know. Two time with the home team boys, all right? Y'all know they're down the Sugar Hill click. Let's go. Home team, break it down. Rust start, break it down. Right now, one five, boogie down. Oh, Uncle Al is my man. Like, yeah, when we um when we first came from New York, we had um met Al. You know what I'm saying? Al was heavy at the time. He was already booming in the streets. I I, I had um, I heard about Al before I even met him. So when I did meet him, that was kind of cool. My dog, Uncle Al. You ain't been nowhere in Miami until you been to a jam on 15 Ave, man. Yo, Al jams are crazy. They're like live in the city. You know that's where everybody used to come hang out at. I can recall days we was out there on 15th Avenue, Sunday evening. I mean, everybody pretty much done had their weekend, and the weekend was getting ready to end. Al shit was popping. Like wherever Al was, that's where the whole city was. I don't care who you was or where you was. When Al set up, it's different. <laughs> It's different, it should really get rocking. Al used to be out there with that wall of speakers, I mean, block to block. And I ain't talking about just speakers, I'm talking about people all on top of trucks, cars, standing in the street, traffic couldn't get through. And he's always screaming, y'all keep them cars moving. I mean, and this was pretty much the norm every Sunday. And the reason why it was a spot because it was about positivity and it was about bringing people together, you know? It just wasn't about a jam, you know? A jam's a jam, but we used it music to bring everybody together. Every way he's a jam, we used to be with him most of the time, you know what I'm saying? When once we met him, he said, I'm Sugar Hill for real. I consider myself Sugar Hill for real. We just wasn't there, have him playing our records and all that. After the joint's finished, we helping him carry him, the speakers and all that. Word, Gucci, booty, me, we helping 
moved speakers with Al after the gym, straight up, while we was home team Poison Clay and all that. I mean, crowd after crowd, multi DJs out there. We're not just not just Sugar Hill, Vicious Funk used to be out there, Triple M. I mean, you call all of them, name them all. Used to be out there it was a big party. Once again, live on 15, y'all. We finna make this motherfucker live. And but we got a little treat. We got Vicious Funk DJs in the high. We on 71st and 15, y'all. We finna get this thing started. We used to jam on 15, man. Had a whole fucking block. Niggas can wanna fight. Niggas can wanna bang it out. But guess what? I'll get on that goddamn mic with that increase the P shit and throw that record on, man. It was over. It was over. Everything stopped. The party went on, man. <laughs> Sugar Hill Rolling Rush DJs. The origin of the song 15th Ave. Well, 15th Ave was like a tribute to Al. You know what I'm saying? When we first came from New York, like I said, Al was popping. We was on the Ave. We was rhyming. He was DJing. You know what I'm saying? And so we just did a tribute to him. So the 15th Ave song wasn't really a record, it was a song, but it was just a tape for him to put out. That was a tribute to him. So he put it on his tape, that shit blew up all over Florida. You know what I'm saying? Then after that, I guess he liked it to the point where he remixed it and put it on his album. So that's how it got on his album. But we originally made that song for him. It wasn't even a, a record, it was a song on a, on a tape for him to play, you know, on his tapes all over the city. Man, R.I.P. God bless his soul. Rest in peace, Uncle Al. Should be hell. Yee! Losing him was a major loss to um, our area in Miami. Like, it was a real major loss. Real major loss. My dad lived, eat, sleep, DJ. Like, he knew nothing else but DJ. Like, he wasn't only a DJ, though. Like, my daddy was a, a people's person. The man make everybody jump party. He liked to have a good time with everybody. Feel good. There's never no bad things with him, you know what I mean? He was always the, besides the DJ, but the DJ, he the man. Real, recognized, real, and I'ma always salute a real G, man. Rest in peace, one time for Uncle I. My homie not here anymore, and I feel it's part of my duty, as well as all the other individuals that was Sugar Hill DJs, to keep this thing going, keep the legacy alive, because at the end of the day, Sugar Hill DJs is all we have. It's all over. <laughs> you rocked it one more time. Another one under your belt. Hey. 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 Hey.